The story so far. Hopefully this will be accurate this time. Oh my god, it is. Ruby, the lady who had the, uh, tied her necklace around Clifford the Big Red Dog's neck, hands the Azran egg over to Professor Layton. Now on one step closer to their goal, Layton and the others can move on and continue their adventure elsewhere. Alrighty. That's what we're going to be doing. So we've got four of the Azran eggs. Uh, oh yeah, we've got an episode to watch, that's right. More importantly, we've got an episode to watch. That's probably going to be all about the people in the desert and how they've all died now that they've accepted Clifford into their society. <sighs> now what are you scratching your face up like a poo for? You go, to, go get to go impersonating me, Chucklehead? Oh, howdy there, Ruby. I'm dreadfully sorry. But there's been something nagging at me I gotta get off my chest. See, I was being smack in the middle of these here deadlands. We got plenty of critters feeling wolfish, right? But ever since old Red started with his visits, we'd had a single varmint trying to scrounge off us. Not even one. Quit your dilly dallying. Seek your man, Sheriff Flint. <laughs> I'm getting to that, ma'am. Now don't you rush me. Anyhow, it got me thinking. How come Clifford the Big Red Dog got himself settled down in that mine, but not near the near about torpedo? I reckon this whole time he's probably been fending those nasty critters away from our town. And if that's true, it makes me sick to the pit of my stomach that they got treated so bad. Ah, uh, we gotta preach love and kindness in this in this here parts. But on the dash, you've been protecting the people just as much as he has. You ain't got even half reason to feel feeling guilty. And besides, what you saw belly aching for? What's dust done? You wanna make it up for him? Go make it up. I guess you're right. It's time for me to be making amends. And one day Clifford's going to die, and then the town is screwed. Is my ten feet all right today, Mr. Derringer? But, but I picked the choice meats money can buy. And you think I didn't? Here you go, boy. Gar one. Gar one, okay. Looks like old real wants to stop arguing with Mr. Derringer. Preach love and happiness. <laughs> How the world you know what he's thinking? Oh, I guess we just got a connection. I am my grandma's granddaughter, after all. Oh, Clifford the Big Red Dog loves his town. All the folks in it. And if you look after him, he'll keep us all safe. Ain't that right, boy? Rain! Rain! I don't know what that means. <laughs> that's, the, that's the weirdest sound effect I've ever heard from a dog. Rain. That's not, Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let's move on! Dress up, I have no idea. We ain't, even, we ain't even touching that one for a while. We ain't even touching that one. Let's fly! into the sky in search of... Oh, I, hold on guys, I best get my dice out for this. Oh, this is going to be such a tricky decision. Uh, oh no, I accidentally tapped on hillside. Oh, now it's not a truly random choice. Oh man. Oh, oh well. I guess we're going to have to do hillside now, what a pity. Phew, that was an awfully bumpy journey. I thought the Bostonians were going to flip over at one point. I trust everyone's alright! Of course. Don't worry, Raymond. Luke's just a bit of a scaredy cat, that's all. Hey! Just because you weren't frightened doesn't mean you can't... You can make fun of everyone else! <laughs> He's number one's apprentice. You can't make fun of number one apprentice. I'm afraid I was unprepared for such a strong headwind. My inability to protect this development has stayed on my reputation. Okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. The weather's nothing if not unpredictable. So this is going to be a very windy place. Uh, you can tell because of all the windmills. <laughs> Which the locals probably complained about. Obviously. I I'm sensing something. The light of the Azran shines brightly in this area. Oh? You seem really confident about that, Aurora. Yes, it's as though I'm being guided. Guided by some powerful force. Well, that's got to be a good sign, right? The Azran are practically showing us the way. I urge you all to take care. I shall be here awaiting your return as always. Alright, cool. So that's that. And uh, here is wherever we're going to be exploring now. We've not, we don't know the name of this town yet. And uh, we've already explored the inside of this airship so many times. But let's just head on. I have to actually open my guide. Oh, whatever. I probably will need to open my guide actually because there may be hidden puzzles around. I guess I'll cut it in a minute or so. Wow, just look at that view! You can see for miles and miles up here! This village goes by the name of Hoogland. Hoogland! 
Who glands? I don't know. Who did glands? <laughs> it's a farming community. Nestled among a range of tall mountains. I didn't glands. Wasn't me. My word. It is terribly windy. I ought to watch the wind doesn't blow my cat clean off. You do well to watch out, Professor. Look at the size of these windmills. It must take quite a gust to get them turning. Seeing things like this is a real reminder of what a force of nature can be. It's astounding! And if Aurora thinks there's an egg around here, then I can't wait to get started on our investigation. Cool. Ho ho! I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for you to own your talents as a photographer too, Emmy. Definitely! My shots are going to get a real workout. In fact, perhaps that friendly looking gentleman over there will agree to pose for a couple of shots. So... Oh my... He does not look friendly in the slightest! Oh my god, his eyes! I know it's really pixelated, but his eyes are like... like the eyes are here, and the pupils are like out here. <laughs> what the hell? I have no idea. This bunny has a puzzle for me, I don't know. I, I need to open this guy, dammit. <laughs> Look how cute this bunny is, Aurora! Oh, he has a puzzle for us. Sure does. He ain't as cute as subject, whatever number he was. Puzzle number 72, abuse buddies. Heavy rain has completely messed up the roots that these rabbits usually take when they go home. Oh, right, so they were playing the video game Heavy Rain. And uh, because of that, they're, they're so... They're so emotionally turmoiled by the by the depth of the storyline in that game that, uh, that that they can't even find their way home. That's that's amazing. That's truly one of truly one of the greatest and most thought out storylines of, of all time. Can you rearrange the path so that the black and white rabbits can go from the current position to their respective homes? Uh, probably not. <laughs> okay, so I guess I can take them out. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, so wait, which uh, which rabbit needs to go to which home? This actually doesn't seem that hard. <laughs> this actually doesn't seem that hard. I've really thought about this one. Okay. <laughs> I knew I'd get it right. There's only four pieces. It's a jigsaw of four pieces. That puzzle was clearly age rated three and up. Nice work! The black and white rabbits will be able to return to the comfort of their own homes now. Puzzle 72 is now on a puzzle index. What a sweet little thing! Do you think he might have petted him? I need to close Twitter. Now's, now's a good time to actually cut. I actually feel prepared now. Not at all! I think he'd like that a lot! Okay. So, uh, found a hidden puzzle. <laughs> also found a cheerful weather vane. What exactly about that weather vane makes it cheerful? It doesn't have a sm happy smiley face on it at all. I feel cheated. Wood chopping axe. Oh, great. We can we, we have weapons in this game now. Ah, bugs. The bugs, the bugs don't have hit coins? Okay, wow. Those bugs are, are poor. They're homeless bugs. Living off the streets and begging for money. Anything here? Safety, <laughs> safety hammer. I guess that's for pun for hitting people in the face to keep yourself safe. It's the only possible explanation. I've been looking for hint coins and I found like three items and zero hint coins. There we go. <laughs> Finally. Oh my god, we just checked the center of the windmills. <laughs> okay. Uh, and something else. The small bell. Is there a bell somewhere? Wait, is it that? Oh, is that okay? I see a bell. I can. I'm good at spotting things, right? <laughs> Go on, let's talk to you. Oh, travelers, are we? You did well to find us all. We are here. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind having your photograph taken? <laughs> sure. A photograph of me? Right, traveling young lady. I suppose I better strike a pose for you then, eh? Oh, nice. That's a great photo. Right, one more. That's that's his photo. That's his pose. Apparently. Alright, that's it over there. You don't want to waste your camera film on me? Not with a wedding ceremony bad start. Oh, we got here just in time for a wedding? Hooray! It's a perfect day for it too. Oh, a pretty young lady like you would make a fine bride yourself, you know? Okay, get into the creepy territory here. Get into the creepy territory here, um, Joaquim. Joaquim. 
Ha, <laughs> if you say so. Oh, I do! Now, you better hurry if you want to catch a glimpse of the bride. See you around, eh? Okay. Can we check it out, Professor? I'd love to see what a Hoogland wedding is like. Hoogland? What's me? Ho oh, ho, don't forget why we're here, Emmy. Though I confess I'm rather curious myself. Don't worry, Professor. I plan to multitask. We'll be leaving here with a stack of wedding photos and the Azran egg. I suddenly hope so, Emmy. Now let's continue to finish, shall we? The Azran egg's so gonna be like the wedding ring or the one of the wedding gifts or something like that. I'm, I'm calling that now. Well, off we go. To the windy way. Oh, what a fresh breeze. Um. <laughs> Professor's not happy. What's wrong, Professor? Brace yourselves, everyone. Cutscene? Good grief. <laughs> Straight back to walking. Ah, phew! What in the world was that? I'm surprised it blew these houses away. Look around, Luke. It kind of did. Wait, really? Did it, like, destroy things? Huh. Did you see the wedding party? They seemed completely undeterred by what just happened. To think they would still consider going ahead with the ceremony after witnessing such destruction to the village. Astonishing. It really is. Let's find out where they're headed, Professor. There must be someone who right here who can tell us. So, wait. Uh. No, I guess, like. I, okay, that building's kind of destroyed, that building's kind of destroyed. This one seems absolutely fine. <laughs> Uh, so, so I guess this is a village that kind of regularly has sort of that kind of thing. Ooh, floral arch. Which makes me feel, why don't these people kind of, you know, move or something? I don't know. Who can say? Let's have a look around for ink coins, though. Ooh, some food! You know what that means. Luke, get at it. <laughs> you get some free food. Uh, but, yeah, we'll, we'll leave half of it, because, you know, why not? I wouldn't know where to start with something that big. Just, just let Luke at it. Seriously, he will eat anything for a hint coin. <laughs> Quite honestly. Uh, is there anything else around? I do believe there is. Let's have a see. Golden Ocarina. <laughs> with zero clue as to where the Golden Ocarina is. Am I supposed to be able to see it? Oh, there it is. It's the Ocarina of Time! Oh my god! Yay! We can... Oh, that's why the... That's why the... The, uh, the tornado's here. Someone must have just played the Song of Storms, obviously. Ah, jeez. And, uh, what about, like, somewhere else? Is there another hint coin? Uh, no, I think I actually got them all. Okay, cool. Well, let's have a see. Ooh, puzzle. I like puzzles. Excuse me. The bride was just over there. Do you know where she was going? What's he got in his nose? Has he got like tissue in his nose? Does he suffer from chronic nosebleeds? Is that the problem? It doesn't look any more normal on the actual DS screen either. Huh? Bride? You mean Romilda, do you, eh? I suppose so. I was hoping to take some photographs of the ceremony, you see. Oh, so he wants to take a photograph of Romilda, but not the one of me, eh? This puzzle teaches you to be so rude! It's not rude, it's just that you're an ugly... Oh, right, yeah, that is kind of rude. <laughs> Fair enough. Puzzle number 73, counting sheep, 40 pick of rats. This farmer has a flock of around 400 sheep. Keen to find out the exact number, he started counting, counting. he counted them about to his home to save time, but lost track at the end anyway. All he remembers is that when he counted them the first time, he had one left over. When he counted them the fourth time, he had two left over. When he counted them the fifth time, he had four left over. And when he counted them the seventh time, he had two left over. Can you work out how many sheep he has? Uh, oh good lord. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Uh, is it gonna be. Okay, it can't be, it can't be 400. <laughs> well, okay, let's list down, like, the numbers around 400 that match the first 
um, the first thing. So we'll go from like 380 to 420. So around 380, 381 is divisible by 3. Uh, and he has one left over, so... Okay, so we basically got like 3, 8, 2, 3, 8, 5, 3, 8, 8, 3, 9, 1, 3, 9, 4, 3, 9, 7, 400, uh, 4, 4, 3, 8, 8, 8, 8, 413, 416 and 419. Those numbers between 380 and 420 that can actually do the first thing. When he counts to the fourth time, he had two left over. So it's going to have to be an even number, and it's going to have to end in four. I think it's 394. When he counts to the seven at a time, he had two left over. Okay, 394 into seven. Uh, 350 goes into 7, which means 385 is going to go into 7, which means 392 is going to go into 7, so yeah, it's 394. 394! I'm surprised those counted as numbers. Pick the row. Yeah, combining the uh, 2 remaining from divided by 4 with the 4 remaining from divided by 5 it meant that it could only end in a 4. Sheer class, this far as 394 cheap, 6 million, you have exactly 400. I got a new dot roller course, Twisty Beach. There, we've solved your puzzle. Now will you tell us the way to the wedding ceremony, please? The wedding's happening at. Th oh my god, I can't remember what voice I used, and it was literally about two minutes ago. <laughs> the wedding's happening on the chapel on that, that hill. That's where Ramilda's headed. I see. Well, thanks for your help. I'll come back and take some photos around here just as soon as the wedding's over. It really is a lovely little village. Well, if you like it so much, why don't you get married like Romilda, eh? Then you'll be part of the village forever and ever. Forever and ever and ever. Okay, I'm slightly creepy. <laughs> if a nice looking lady like you look at she's aged here, it would definitely make the village a happier place to be. Well, thank you, I suppose. <laughs> You're welcome, lady. Bye-bye. Baba. <laughs> uh, that animal uh, has been trained to say bye bye on command. So the bride's gone to the chapel. Is everything alright, Professor Sycamore? Oh, yes, I was just wondering where the, where the broom was, that's all. But it's probably waiting for her there. That's what usually happens, isn't it? I don't see why not. Random pan up there. <laughs> Look, that was the chapel up there. Let's go and see for ourselves. Also, I would like to point out uh, further proof to my, uh, to Mindez's rule of Leighton, imposing structure in the background. Admittedly, there's a lot of imposing structure in the background, they're all windmills, but still. Is that a chapel up there? Oh wait, no, is this, this is a chapel. No, I, no wait, the uh, chapel on the hill. I guess it is that up there, but that looks like kind of some, a dirt hole. This looks more like a chapel, but apparently this isn't it, so whatever. <laughs> Oh my god, it's Kim Kardashian! She's famous, I've heard. I think. <laughs>